No home is too big or too small if you can live happily in it. Meanwhile, we can tell you that owning a home on today's list will cost you at least $128 million. From penthouses in Monaco to palaces in England, we look at a variety of mansions and properties in this video. So, without further ado, here is a list of the world's 12 most costly homes. Sanadu's most costly house, known as Sanadu 2.0, is Bill Gates' opulent residence in Medina, Washington. It overlooks Lake Washington and took seven years to construct from the ground up. Bill Gates, who was formerly the world's richest man, truly went above and beyond when it came to building his home. The estate has a total area of 66,000 square feet and 500 Douglas fir trees. It's packed with cutting-edge technology, such as tiny pins on each guest's label that allow them to control lighting, music, and temperature. It has a computer-controlled maple tree, six kitchens, and seven bedrooms, as well as an artificial creek with actual fish and trout. And this is just the cheapest house on the list. This lovely home is on the Montana mountains, a Christmas card-worthy home that begs for pleasant afternoons spent around a fire while it snows outside. Seven the Pinnacle at Yellowstone Club, surrounded by thick woods, is the world's largest property with a private golf and ski community. With 123 rooms, the interior is even more stunning than the outside. There are 10 bedrooms, a huge and well-equipped spa with a massage area, a gym, an outdoor and indoor pool, and numerous fireplaces. It has a total area of 57,000 square feet. This colossal mansion is situated on Billionaire's Row near Kensington Gardens, one of London's most exclusive neighbourhoods. Lakshmi Mittal, an Indian business entrepreneur and billionaire who is the chairman and CEO of the world's largest steel producer, Arcelor Mittal, now owns the property. The home was erected in the 19th century and is around 55,000 square feet. It was initially two semi-detached residences that were later combined by developer David Khalili into a single property. It features 12 bedrooms, an indoor pool, Turkish baths, and 20 parking places. The house had previously been held by various well-known and rich families before Mr. Mittal bought it. The Rothschilds, Free Poles, David Khalili, and Bernie Ecclestone have all called the place home at some point. Mr. Mittal may rest easy knowing that Prince William and Kate Middleton are his next-door neighbours. It's no surprise that Beverly Hills, California, is home to one of the world's most costly residences. Jeff Green, a successful real estate tycoon, owns Palazzo di Amore, which covers a landmass of approximately 53,000 square feet. The Mediterranean-style villa features 12 bedrooms, 23 bathrooms, multiple swimming pools, tennis courts, waterfalls, and theatres as well as a 27-car garage. If you want to party, you'll be glad to know that the house also features a revolving dance floor and a ballroom where you can bust some moves whenever you want. The mansion appears to be more of a vacation resort than a residence, but we can tell you that it is one of the world's most expensive residences. Ellison Estate is one of the most expensive houses in the world. This $200 million residence, owned by Larry Ellison, co-founder of Oracle and one of the world's wealthiest men, is the world's seventh most expensive home. Because of the estate's size, 23 acres to be exact, it may accommodate more than one residence. There are 10 distinct residences within the courtyard, as well as a tea house and bathhouse, a man-made lake and a koi pond. The estate's style is heavily influenced by Japanese culture and was inspired by a Japanese emperor's palace. The house was designed by Paul Driscoll, a Zen Buddhist instructor and architect. There are also several very valuable trees on the estate grounds, such as cherry blossoms, maples, oaks, and redwoods. You can't have a list of the world's most costly residences without including one from New York City. Ira Renner, the proprietor of the Renault Group, a major investment business in smelting and manufacturing, lives at 4 Fairfield Pond. 
The 63-acre estate has 29 bedrooms, 39 baths, a 91-foot dining room, a basketball court, bowling alley, squash courts, tennis courts, and three pools. To power the mansion, a massive quantity of electricity is required. Fortunately, the residence comes with its own power plant on site. And for those of you who enjoy driving, Fort Fairfield Pond has a garage that can accommodate up to a hundred vehicles. The Odeon Tower Penthouse, which costs an estimated $330 million, is number six on the list of the world's most expensive homes. The Odeon was created by Group Mazzococo and designed by architect Alejandro Giraldi. The penthouse is divided into many levels and has its own private elevator. If that's not enough, there's also a private water slide that leads to a 360-degree infinity pool. With a price tag of $390 million is ranked fifth, Le Palais Bull, sometimes known as the Bubble Palace, was conceived by Hungarian architect Antti Lovag and constructed between 1975 and 1989. It gets its name from a sequence of spherical rooms with views of the Mediterranean Sea. The property's design was inspired by man's early dwellings. However, this home has been significantly improved with some extremely great creature comforts. Three swimming pools, several gardens, and a 500-seat amphitheater built into the hillside grounds are just a few of the luxuries available on the site. Bubble Palace is currently owned by Pierre Cardin a French fashion designer of Italian descent. Pierre uses the property mostly as a vacation house, but it also serves as a stunning location for parties and events, such as when Dior debuted its cruise collection at an indoor-outdoor fashion show there. Villa Les Cidres, located in saint jean cap ferrat France, is ranked fourth on our list. This home, valued at 450 millions, is on its way to being worth nearly half a million dollars. It was built in 1830 and purchased by Belgium's King Leopold II in 1904. Back in 2017, it was thought to be the most expensive house on the market, but it has since been surpassed by the next three houses on our list. The property is nestled on 35 acres of gardens and its name comes from the numerous cedar trees that can be found throughout the grounds. The mansion is 18,000 square feet in size and has 14 bedrooms. It also boasts an Olympic-sized pool and a large stable that can accommodate 30 horses. If you are lucky enough to enter the villa, you will be amazed by the magnificence of the crystal chandeliers, gilded woodwork, 19th-century oil paintings, and a wooded panel library with some 3,000 books. Villa Leopolda is the world's third most costly home. Lily Safra, the widow of Lebanese-Brazilian banker Edmund Safra, owns the villa. It is about 50 acres in size and is located in France's Alps Maritime Department in the Côte d'Azur region. It contains 11 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a commercial greenhouse, a helipad, an outdoor kitchen, and one of the most beautiful swimming pools you'll ever see. The property is well known because it served as the backdrop for Alfred Hitchcock's 1955 thriller to catch a thief. The mansion was renovated in the 1920s by American architect Ogden Codman Jr. and is named after its original owner, King Leopold II of Belgium. Antilia, the world's second most expensive home, is located in Mumbai, India and costs $1 billion. Perkins & Will, a Chicago-based architecture firm, and Hirsch Bender Associates, a hospitality design firm, collaborated on the project. Mukesh Ambani, the chairman and managing director of Alliance Industries Limited, a Fortune Global 500 firm, and India's richest man, commissioned the home. The 400,000-square-foot structure is located in Mumbai's Kambala Hill neighborhood and stands 27 floors tall. It was also designed to survive an earthquake on the Richter scale of 8. Six stories of the mansion are dedicated only to car storage, as well as a car servicing facility, a temple, a 50-seat movie theater, and nine elevators, a health spa, three helipads, a hairdresser, a ballroom, and yoga studio. An ice cream area and several cinemas are also available. After everything is said and done, Antilia is claimed to require at least 600 people to keep things operating smoothly. 
This is a place that not even many billionaires can hope to afford. And finally, we come to the most expensive property in the world. The British royal family owns this place, which is one of a handful of opulent estates in their collection. It has 775 rooms, 78 bathrooms, 92 offices and 19 state rooms, and is located in the city of Westminster, London. Since 1873, it has served as the British monarchy's official residence. The palace is approximately 828,000 square feet in size, with the garden alone covering 40 acres. Despite its enormous size and claim to the title of the world's most expensive mansion, it is not the world's largest palace. Although it is exceedingly improbable, it's predicted that if the palace were placed up for sale, it would fetch $2.9 billion. We hope you enjoyed our list of the world's 10 most costly homes. Isn't it incredible that a mansion can cost more than a billion dollars? Sure, it's absurd to believe, but it's a fact. Consider yourself fortunate that you don't have to pay for upkeep every month. If you liked the video, then do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and also press the bell icon for upcoming amazing content.